It's your most embarrassing scenarios that we're talking about today. And we couldn't cover this topic without discussing some bedroom issues. And we've invited board certified urologist, Dr. Aaron Spitz here to help us out. Welcome back, sir. Thank you. Thank you. So we're gonna go ahead and move along to our next silhouette secret confessional. It's a question that Gabrielle has for us. So Gabrielle, thank you for sharing. What is your question? Hi doctors, yes. Yeah, so I'm in a committed relationship with my boyfriend and during uh, orgasming, a strange liquid comes out and I'm not too sure if it's pee or what it is. Can you describe what this liquid is like? Yes, yeah, sometimes it kind of has a, a yellowish tint. Sometimes it has a little slight smell of urine. Um, sometimes it's much larger than other times. So I, it just kind of ranges. Yeah, well that, that is entirely consistent with mm -hmm. what is known. Um, in some cases, this fluid is coming from a gland called the Skene's gland, which is basically the female prostate. Uh, men and women all start out as females, and then when the hormones kick in during the fetal development, then the uh, penis and scrotum form. But we all have similar urethras up through the prostate. But of course, in the woman, that gland's much smaller. But that fluid that comes out that's more scanty, maybe a little thickish sometimes, could be milky in appearance or have a color, that's that female prostate or Skene's gland secretion. On the other hand, there can be a large volume clear-like fluid that comes out that you might think is urine, and studies show that maybe it has urine characteristics and perhaps it is coming from the bladder, but even that remains a little bit of a mystery because it's not exactly like urine, and many women report completely emptying their bladders before sex and yet still having a high volume output. And when these women are studied urodynamically, they have totally normal bladder function. It's not a matter of having a weak bladder or weak muscles. So there's nothing wrong with you. You're not incontinent. You don't have an abnormal bladder. You're just one of those women who actually can squirt out fluid. And in fact, up to 50% of women have done it at least once, but about 15% of women can do it on a regular basis. Some women may be having an ejaculation, but it never comes out because it goes backwards into the bladder. Some women may not have any fluid with orgasm, and some women may have ejaculation without orgasm. So you don't have to have one of these to have the other, and none is better than the other. That's just you. That's your unique, exciting sexual response, and you should be happy about it. That's right. And, and your ejaculation is probably a lot bigger than his ejaculation. There you go. And so it just proves <laughs> that anything a man can do, a woman can do better. All right. so much for joining us and sharing that question. Dr. Spitz, always wonderful to have you. My pleasure.